heard all this commotion, and it sounded like trees being pushed down and all that. So I thought, that doesn't sound like echoing to me, so I put on my high top boots, rubber boots, because that was still time for copperheads and rattlesnakes. So I come up, put the gas wheel right down here, come to the top here, go up this ridge, and when I got back there, I seen a clearing. And I thought, something's, I don't believe something's right here. So I kept on going, and the further I got, I seen this, I call them monster bulldozers. Uh, bulldozer, and he was grading. So I keep going, and about the time I got to where the bulldozer was, another man pulled up in a pickup truck. And I walked over to him, and I said, Sir, do you realize that you're on private property? Oh, no, 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 you're not on private property. I said, yes, you are. I said, because this is the Sumner estate. And I said, uh, you're on my property. And I said, where's the big white oak tree? He said, I don't know anything about a white oak tree. I said, you don't? I said, well, there was one year, and it was a lime tree with ribbons, pink ribbons tied all around the tree. I said, uh, but it's gone. I don't know anything about a white oak tree. So I turned and started down the ridge. He said, where are you going? I said, I'm going down through here to see what all y'all done. I said, you've taken out my survey down through here. I turned around when he said, you, he said, well, you can't go down through there. I said, I'll go anywhere I want on our property. I said, there ain't nobody stopping me. Down that ridge, as far as you can see where the weed is, they took out my survey down through there. Of course, I've had it put back. When the surveyor, see, I had had a survey that cost $6,040, and uh, I thought that would stop them from, from trespassing, but it didn't. Uh, my mother and dad moved here in 1934. I was born in 1932, and, that's, and they moved, and then the Depression years hit, and they had to sacrifice to keep the property, and I'm carrying on with what they believe in. They believed in the property. They believed in having a place to live, to farm, and I'm the same way, and I don't want the water destroyed, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be destroyed because Cheyenne Resources, or Midwest Resources, is going to mine out through here where they augured a long time ago. And I asked her about that. I said, how come where the coal corporations go, how come all the water is destroyed? She says, well, she explained it. They blast they go into the earth deep, and they, and they put that uh, combination of fuel oil, ammonia nitrate, and uh, dynamite, and they blast that earth apart while it gets in the water system and destroys our water. I'm trying to keep it, but I don't know whether I'll succeed or not. They had the ribbons tied below the road, a blue ribbon. They never admitted trespassing. They said it was an accident. But it was no accident because everything was in place. The survey, I mean, it was, I mean, it was there to see. He put ribbons everywhere where they could see. Kentucky and Montgomery Creek is my home. <laughs>